<laughs> Hello, it's uh, oh, good morning, Monty. It's a uh, a beautifully bright, and I'm having to look down because it's so bright. It's a beautifully bright morning, and uh. It rained really heavily overnight, so everything has been well watered again. And, um, sorry, I've got Monty with me. So everything has been well watered again. Uh, and now the sun is coming out and it feels like it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day. So just as a quick reminder, uh, at the weekend, we, uh, we tackled we tackled a huge hedge uh, on our front boundary uh, with the help of our neighbours. And, uh, and so yesterday, uh, Monday, I, well, I spent, I had a sofa day, basically, <laughs> uh, which is what I need after that sort of work. Um, I was absolutely pooped by the end of the day. And uh, and there's there's the finished finished job behind me with the the hedge, which I'm really pleased about. But uh, I I did very little yesterday. And on top of uh, on top of the uh, unusually busy activity at the weekend, we have now. Well, it's now after August the 14th, and this is the point in the year where uh, I can pretty much guarantee that I won't be getting enough daylight hours to uh, to do what I need to do in my brain to keep me happy so uh, from now on it's uh, it's I'll be using my light box every day and uh, <laughs> somehow it always seems a bit mad in the middle of in the middle of summer in the middle of August to be to be using a light box to give me more daylight but uh, the the number of daylight hours really are dropping now and, uh, and to keep me on an even keel, uh, I need to boost that a bit. In between, quite a lot of hours spent on the sofa, I, uh, I managed to get out and do a little bit in the strawberry bed yesterday. Uh, this is the bed that had the potatoes in it. And then I'd enriched the soil with uh, homemade compost and some oak chippings and I get beaten up by that plant every time <laughs> uh, yes yeah, so and I also put some wood ash on there because uh, we've had our chimney swept and uh, so we put the wood ash on there and then I've laid the plastic membrane over the top and pinned it down at the sides and I've started to get the strawberry plants in some of them like this one uh, were plantlets last year and uh, they've grown this year and fruited and sent out baby plants again uh, so they're in there but many of them are just the baby plants from this year and here are the strawberry plants that I'm transplanting these are well these were about eight plants uh, in here and <laughs> it's great they've just exploded into this mass of foliage and loads and loads of new plants and uh, and that's all just good because that's, uh, that's going to be free food so I think there are far more plants than we've actually got space for uh, in that bed so to that end and knowing that that was likely to happen I have I had already started a second strawberry bed uh, almost at the other end of the garden and uh, it's doing all right it's still very early stages so once I filled up that, uh, that uh, the bed with a lot of them in already uh, I'll move down to this bed and make some more holes in this uh, weed suppressing membrane and plant some more in here and then we should get 
oh, we should have a fabulous crop next year. You know, as long as the weather's good and as long as the bees do their pollinating, uh, it should all be good. I'm just going to wander down and have a quick look and see how the bees are doing. Now I'm not suited up, so I'm going to stay, oh, I'll say a sensible distance from them, but I'll take my camera and, uh, and you can meet the bees. What I have neglected to do, rather more than I'd like, is to collect these beautiful Mirabelle plums. And there they are, lurking up in the tree. Little yellow gems. But uh, I just, it's been so difficult, the weather has been so, so rubbish. And uh, when it has been nice, we've just been doing other stuff. On Thursday, I'm going to be telling you about a new project that I'm starting. Uh, and you can get involved too, if you'd like to. Uh, so please join me on Thursday and, uh, and find out exactly what it is that I've got planned. Well, that's it for me today. I've checked on the, uh, the birds' water and I've topped up their food. And uh, they're, all very, they're all very happy now. So I'm heading for the sofa. Uh, for an afternoon of uh, inspecting the inside of my eyelids but wherever you are in the world and um, whatever you're doing today I hope it's a gentle one and a good one for you I also hope you can join me again tomorrow <laughs>